Hey guys, Mike Fulton here. If you're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. Welcome into On Deck. I'm Tyler Edman. As always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's get you the latest from spring training. A lot happened this week. One being that Freddie Freeman returned. Austin Riley has caught a lot of attention offensively in the third base situation. And of course, there's always that starting pitching stress. So first off, we're going to start with Freddie Freeman. There was a lot of talk about his elbow irritation over the past couple of weeks, but there wasn't a lot of talk about his return. He's actually had done pretty well and he feels really good and that's the important thing. Uh, there's not really a lot else about it to focus on. The thing I would like to tell you is if you were worried about it, try to remember that spring training is not that important at the end of the day. It's only the beginning of the season and as long as this doesn't happen in October, I really would not worry about it. That differs with me when it comes to Cole Hamels who I'm actually a little bit worried about, uh, mainly because one of his age and two, because I don't want this to be a lingering injury. With Freeman, he's been very open about how much this doesn't affect him, how much it's not going to affect him for a long period of time. With Cole Hamels, we've been pretty left in the dark. Uh, he's out till April or maybe even past April. That's all we really know right now. Um, a lot of people have been worried about this, me included. Uh, mainly be not not even so much just because of Cole Hamels but the entire pitching staff situation in the sense that Fultonevich is still finding kind of his groove right now and will he be that 2018 Fulty or will he be last year Fultonevich we don't really want to see that we want to see 2018 there hasn't really been any major outpouring of confidence all around with the starting rotation when I say that obviously you know we have Mike Soroka we have Max Free we have a few others that have looked good but all around, the starting rotation hasn't been talked about a lot when it comes to management. I mean, really, like, when you hear about the third base battle, you know, both of these guys are good enough to be third basemen. You know, that makes you feel a little bit more confident. But when you hear about starting rotation, it's just not talked about. Individuals are focused on, not as a whole. Uh, the outfield is really good right now. That's another example. You got Marcelo Zuna, Ronald Acuna, and whoever else fits into that spot, whether that be Ender Enciarte or Nick Marquecas. It has a lot of depth too. But with starting rotation, Cole Hamels is out, so that obviously leaves a fifth spot. But the Braves already had a fifth spot, so now it's fourth and fifth. You have Felix Hernandez, Sean Newcomb, Kyle Wright, Bryce Wilson, all fighting for those spots. But the one that really has caught my attention since spring training has started has been Felix Hernandez. And he's impressed everyone so far, really, in spring training. I haven't seen anyone that has been disappointed with his performance. He's only making a million dollars if he makes the roster this year, so the Braves really had nothing to lose here. So anything he does is a bonus. Can he make it with the current situation? Yes, he can. Why couldn't he? If you disagree, drop a comment, let me know what you think. Um, but let's move on from that. We've all heard about the third base competition uh, for the Braves this year, mainly between Johan Camargo and Austin Riley. And I've talked about it extensively in other videos, and we'll hit on more of that in a second. But did you hear or did you see Austin Riley's home run this week? It's not great footage. You can't really tell where the ball landed. It was impressive. The reason I say that, there was a tweet from Mark Bowman, and he basically said where the location of the ball landed. And it hit the scoreboard out in left center field. And I haven't been to Cool Today Park. I've seen pictures. I don't know what the exact measurement of that is, but it's impressive. And I'll be there in a couple of weeks. We'll be there for spring training. Uh, we'll have all kinds of good content there ready for you. I uh, should be mainly at the Braves, but we'll probably travel around a little bit and see other teams as well. Um, but back to this third base battle. Austin Riley is just as motivated as Johan Camargo is, is just as motivated as anybody on the Braves is. Uh, and if you disagree with me, that's fine. Let me know why in the comment section. I always want to hear from you. But you know how I feel about this competition at third base. But if I had to make a prediction, now I'm not at spring training, granted. I'm not there. I'm an outsider. But if I had to make a prediction based on what, based on solely what I've read, based on solely what I've read, I would think that Johan Camargo starts the season on opening day and it slowly becomes either a platoon at third base or it becomes Austin Riley is the guy because I like Johan just as much as the next guy. I think he's a great player all around. 
But if 2018 Johan is the best we're going to get, I don't know that he can sustain on the Atlanta Braves lineup. That's just my opinion. And I do keep hearing talks about the Arenado and Bryant uh, trade arguments for them to be traded. I actually have done a few videos on it. Uh, the link will be in the bio. You can see it there. But Bryant, to me, is out of the picture. You can forget about it. The Braves aren't going to go out for a guy that's either going to give you one or two years. They're going to go for somebody more like Arenado if they're going to spend that kind of money or give up those type of prospects or players. My argument against both of these is there's no really good reason to do it. Austin, Riley, We've only seen limited experience out of Austin Riley. He got a couple of months last year and he did very well. He got 18 homers in the time he had, which is almost as much as Johan had in the entirety of 2018. He's got a lot of power. He's got a lot of skill at third base. I think he's a good fit for third base with the Braves if he can hit off speed away. But that's yet to be seen. If he can't hit it, that's obviously a problem, and they'll go out and get somebody to fill that spot. But the Braves aren't looking to spend that kind of money right now, and I really don't think they're going to. Now, if you still want to see Arenado, I need you to comment why. I need you to tell me why with some actual facts, because it's not just opinion here. I need to know some basis, and I might, you might change my mind. But right now, I really think it's going to be Riley and Johan at third base, at least for the foreseeable future or either one. Now, they're both vying to win that spot. The Braves have been very clear that it's going to be one of those two individuals. I don't think it'll be a platoon, at least for very long. I think it'll be, if it is a platoon, I think it'll be a limited time until one of them outdoes the other. And that's never a bad thing. So that's all I have for this week. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell for notifications so that you can be notified on everything I post. Speaking of which, I have an opportunity for any Braves fan Marquise Grissom will be signing autographs at BP Sports on March 21st from 12 to 1 p.m. Now, BP Sports is located in Marietta, Georgia at 2800 Canton Road. He'll be signing autographs, taking pictures, doing a meet and greet with any fan that, you know, comes. Uh, it'll be a great opportunity to meet an Atlanta legend. And if you don't know who he is, if you're a young guy and you're not sure who Marquise Grissom is, he is the guy who caught the pop fly that ended the 1995 World Series and gave the 95 Braves the only Atlanta World Series Championship. So, hope to see you there. I will be there, so make sure to say hello. But until then, like this video, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell for notifications, and hey, drop a comment, tell me what you think. See you next time on deck.